it's been two years since I haven't had sex. And the biggest question that I always get from people is, bro, how are you doing this? Or I don't understand, aren't you going crazy by now? And normally, yes, most men would have been crazy by now. They would have lost their minds and had sex, but I haven't. In this video, I'm gonna talk about some things that really helped me stay strong right after this. <music> going on guys this is your boy Trey Bryant and I am back to bring you another lifestyle video now if you are new to the channel we talk about men's fashion we talk about lifestyle beard and hair if that sounds like something you're interested in then go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join our YouTube family we're always growing really fast and plus your boy drops a new video every week to keep you guys entertained and informed now, when I first started this journey, it was very hard. My thoughts were wandering all over the place. How was I gonna do this when sex was pretty much the big part of my everyday life? But just like you're about to make a big decision, you weigh the options, you count the costs, and you prepare to make a change. And that's exactly what I did, which brings me to my first tip, and that's preparation. You can't start anything by jumping right into it. You have to start figuring out what works best for you. And that's what I had to do. I had to figure out what works best for me and what wasn't gonna make me think of sex or make me struggle or make me lust over something. So the first thing that I did is I started unfollowing every IG model on my Instagram. And even some of my female friends that I was cool with that posted pictures that I thought wasn't appropriate. I did that because your mind is something that's really important as a man to preserve. You wanna be cognizant of what you put in it and that is just really something that can affect you later if you don't take care of it now another part of preparation is not putting yourself in situations that you already know the answers to like if you're someone that's trying to abstain from sex and maintain your purity why would you put yourself in those situations where there's a possibility that sexual encounter would happen this is something that your boy definitely had to learn and most of us guys we know how situations are gonna play out, but we get curious. We wanna know what's going on. We wanna see, get more interested in the situation. But this is where discipline and self-control have to come into play, protecting yourself and protecting the other person as well. And overall, this may sound easy at first, but it takes a lot of discipline and practice to be able to continuously do this and remember this in every situation. And again, it is not easy to be able to do this, but this is why you're not supposed to do it by yourself. And because of this, it's good to keep a close homeboy to you, to keep you accountable. I had some guys that helped me accountable back in the day when I started this journey, and it helped me tremendously. And having the right homies that want to help you grow and see you prosper in your spiritual life is very important. And the last most important thing that I did that really helped me was putting myself on a schedule. Structure is what keeps a man sharp and helps him grow. And I put myself on a schedule of going to the gym in the mornings, reading the word, and then working on other things that I had planned throughout the day. And you know what? There goes that preparation again that I shared with you in the beginning. But if you watch one of my most recent videos, I talked about how going to the gym is a great way to stay healthy. And it's a great way to help you stay focused. Working out really helped me relieve a lot of sexual tension that I had along with stress. And doing this really helped me probably the most stay the best shape in my life and just be focused through a lot of times, tough times that I really went through to be honest. And while doing this, I think truly, truly helps you grow and become a better man because you become task oriented. I hope you guys found value in this video and it helps you on your journey if you're deciding to wait till marriage. Let me know if you guys want more self-development videos like this. And if you guys are still watching, I appreciate you. Hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video.